What's going on guys? Last Night Scar Fan here and welcome back to another a diecast review. Um, this is going to be a very interesting diecast review as we're going to be taking a look at another COT diecast that I thought was a pretty well damn, well I wish I said this, damn good scheme in general. Um, overall in 2008 Matt Kenseth had a pretty decent season. So far, as say far to say the least, uh, even though um, I don't even think he even won a race that year, but he still had an exceptional year with uh, most of his paint schemes uh, bright and flashy, but as well as you had um, the return of DeWalt, USG, but also Carhartt, and they knocked it out of the ballpark with this paint scheme. And today we're going to be reviewing Matt Kenseth's 2008 uh, Carhartt uh, Ford Fusion for Roush Fenway Racing, a.k.a. RFK, as of today. So what was really interesting was that I bought this car from the same from the same seller who uh, had the Mad Kens at the USG sheet struck that I was able to acquire for a really good deal. Uh, I, I sent them a really good offer on that one, and I also sent them an offer on the Mad Kens of Carhartt, which I was like, I paid like two bucks more. Oh boy, we're gonna be getting into that a little bit though. Um, let's look at the box itself first, because. I'm just gonna say this, I love these 2008 boxes and this one is fantastic. I love the whole uh, the whole brown all around. This is really cool and not as comparable as to um, like this kind of packaging. Like look how bland this is. Look how bland it is. This had vibrant, this had color, this stuck out. This stuck out, stuck out. Why did I say stuck out? stuck out. Um, well, let's get to the car itself. Now, when researching how the car ran for its four races, the car ran pretty well, actually. This car ran in the top five. It was three out of four times, but this car finished in the top 10, four out of four. So this wasn't really much of a cursed scheme in 2000. It just kind of wasn't able to capitalize on the win. And holy Jesus, Look at the bottom. Look how yellow it got. Oh my god. I'm just going to make sure it doesn't smell like cigarette smoke. No, it's just probably just the cheap plastic on the bottom. Which you got to be wary on these COTs because over time, these cheap plastic bodies will yellow over time along with the windshield. And that's like the one big main issue collectors have with uh, action gold series cars from these years because of the cheap plastic. Like look at the win the window net, it's, it's, gonna, it's turning completely yellow. Other than that though, this car was featured in NASCAR 09 as a, as a playable paint scheme. So you were able to race this in like race now, or if you took over Matt Kenseth's ride in uh, the earn your stripes mode, I think it still was still called Earn Your Stripes. But it was used to be called Fight to the Top, and then they changed it to Earn Your Stripes in 2008, in 2007, excuse me. And they, I think they kept it the same way in NASCAR 9 for 2008. Um, but yeah, let's go over the paint scheme itself. Colors are primarily black, white, and gray. Um, a bit of a kind of sad there. They didn't put any brown on the scheme, but they still did a, as I dropped the plastic box, uh, whatever. Um, I, I, I love this scheme, though. This is a very well-done scheme in general. So on the front hood, you have Carhartt as well as USG. And then you got your Fusion logo, and then you got all your smaller contingencies that look way better than how Lionel would do his quality control today. I'm surprised Lionel doesn't throw it all into the friggin' Chesapeake and tell them to start over. Because how can you literally tell your factory to produce this when they can't even produce what you want them to produce? It's ridiculous. And it's also because they rush the factories, no joke. They always keep rushing the factories to get stuff out because Lionel thinks rushing stuff is a good idea. It's not. Got your other logos, though. Sprint Cup Series logo, Mechanics Square, DirecTV, 3M, EA Sports, yada, yada, yada. On the pillar, you got Ford Fusion, USG, Valvoline, and Kraft, I believe, is still on there. 
RNL carriers, Champion, Sparks, as well as Sherwin Williams. Sherwin Williams was a very big uh, sponsor for Roush, not just with Greg Biffle, but also was an associate uh, driver sponsor for uh, Matt Kenseth, which was pretty cool. You got uh, Renai on there. That's pretty cool. They didn't appear then until like 2017 when TriStar came to Cup and then completely closed after 2018. Carhartt on the side. I really miss Carhartt in the sports. Really, really sucks. But the paint scheme, like, itself just reminds you of, like, the Carhartt wear, wear and tear. Like, look at how, like, how it's, like, the seam and everything. Like, look how cool that is. Like, the whole seam on here. I think it's a really cool design, and I wish they would do that. Because it literally looks like jeans. It's, the, the paint scheme literally looks like a seam along with jeans. It's, it's, it's a genius scheme. Got DeWalt on the side panel right there and then you got dewalt on the deck lid and then no surprise you have dewalt focus on the tv panel but anyways that's gonna wrap up this diecast review thank you so much for watching comment like subscribe hit the notification bell for brand new videos and i will see you in the next diecast review take care everyone have a good one keep on collecting and have a great rest of your day